children welcome back to our class this is the second part of the lesson called friction in first part the we already learned friction friction is a type of force uh, it acts in the con uh, contact between two surfaces to oppose the force then this um, now let us study about types of friction there are four types of friction Uh, static friction, sliding friction, rolling friction, and fluid friction. What are they? Static friction, sliding friction, rolling friction, and fluid friction. First, static friction. Then, what is static friction? The friction which is produced between the two surfaces in contact with each other at the position of inactive is known as static friction that means uh, this uh, friction is represent two uh, surfaces have no contact that means uh, the friction which is produced between the two surfaces in contact with each other at the position of inactive is known as static friction example a boy push on a, a box that means uh, this box heavy box push on a boy that means no change there this represent static friction then next is sliding friction sliding friction when one body slides over the surface of other the resistance to its motion is called sliding friction example you have know, to see some heavy bags luggage bags down side wheels there this represent reduce sliding friction then your school bag or um, roll wheels that they represent the sliding friction then what is sliding friction when one body slides over the surface of other the resistance to its motion is called sliding friction then next is rolling friction rolling friction means uh, to move to one place to another that means the force of friction which comes into play when a body rolls over the surface of another body is called rolling friction and small the force of friction which comes into play when a body rolls over the surface of another body is called rolling friction example of trolling trolling uh, then some uh, chairs down side beams they represent rolling friction then next is fluid friction fluid means Uh, some um, uh, substances are flow in oil, gas. These are represent all gases and liquids represent the fluids. Then this uh, fluid avoid uh, friction. Then this type of friction is called fluid friction. That means uh, an object moves through a fluid is called uh, it is called the fluid friction. That means the fluid uh, uh, reduce friction. A friction whenever an object moves through a fluid, it is called the fluid friction. Then how to reduce fluid friction? The frictional force or drag exerted by fluid on an object moving through it depends on speed of object with respect to fluid, shape of object, size of object, nature of fluid. That means viscosity. Then higher the speed of an object moving through a fluid. Great will be the fluid friction. That means, uh, then what are the disadvantage of fluid friction? The fluid friction has some disadvantages. Fluid friction reduces the speed of objects moving through the fluids. In this process, the object loses some of their energy, which is, uh, decreases their efficiency. Example, when a car is running on the road, uh, then it loses some of its energy in overcoming the friction. of air which opposes its motion that means oil reduces the friction of the uh, machines example oil and grease these oil and grease are called lubricants that means uh, lubricants means uh, reducing the uh, friction then next is increasing and reducing friction and how to increase and reduce the friction some more example is increasing friction the soles of shoes are made up of grooves to increase friction in your shoes down side grooves there this reduce to uh, or increase the friction 
Then the tires of vehicles are made up of treads to increase friction. Tires are small uh, pink like structures there. This represent reduce the friction. Then the next year, kabaddi players usually rub their hand with the hand, try to so it to increase friction and to get a better grip on their opponent. Then gymnastic apply some coarse substance on their hands to increase friction for better grip. Then next is mothers of friction. With the help of polishing the surface. And in the first session we study uh, smooth uh, area uh, cause less friction, rough surfaces uh, cause large friction. Then by applying lubricants, lubricants means grease or oil to the rubbing surfaces and represented the substances which reduce friction are called lubricants. The, the substances which reduce friction are called lubricants. Example, grease, oil, in some in vehicles, wall bearing structures, there is some chain, in cycle chain, then some vehicles, tires, machines inside small ball shaped bearings there. These represent, these reduce the friction of the machines. Then wheels reduce friction. Then it's rolling friction. An example. In our daily routine, we usually some objects like attaches and other bags fitted with rollers. Even a child can pull a heavy luggage fitted with rollers because the sliding friction is converted into rolling friction which gives less resistance to the motion of luggage. That means rolling friction helps to uh, less friction. That means uh, rolling friction to avoid the more friction. Then methods of reducing fluid friction. Then a body shape. Then example fish, aeroplane. This type of shape is referred to streamlined shape. This streamlined shape to avoid the friction of the air. Okay. Then one for different types of friction. Uh, static friction, sliding friction, rolling friction and fluid friction. Then static friction, the friction which is produced between the two surfaces in contact with each other at the position of inactive is known as static friction. Example, a boy push on a heavy box. This box cannot change the position. Then sliding friction. When one body slides over the surface of other, the resistance to its motion is called the sliding friction. That represents this body push the box. It has small change. The small change represents sliding friction. Then next is rolling friction. The force of friction which comes into play when a body rolls over the surface of another body is called the rolling surface. So that means some heavy luggage, some chairs downside, wheels connected. These wheels help to reduce the or um, decrease the friction. Then next is fluid friction. An object moves through a fluid. This fluid helps to uh, decrease the friction of the two surfaces. Then friction is in our, very important in our life, uh, daily routine, and because you have to walk in line in your shoes and uh, you have no friction, then what happened? We fell down with the then you have to write in blackboard, chalk and board up to two surfaces. How friction there? In board and so far, no friction will happen. You cannot write it properly. Very good example is the friction is uh, writing. Then pen and uh, paper have uh, friction there. That means uh, fr friction opposes the two surfaces of contact. That means uh, in, uh, in, your, in cold season, you have to wrap the palms. So what happens? We feel warm there. What, what, why it is due to the friction of two palms?